How's it going, folks? Uh, Brian Cusco here at Triple B, and we are at Arlington Day 2 NARBC Reptile Show. And today, we've got Mr. Phil Goss of US Ark. If you are a reptile keeper and you don't know who US Ark is, you should. I'll put a link down in the description so you can read why you should. Phil Goss is the president, standing president, has been for the past eight, nine years or so of US Ark, doing a phenomenal job. We're going to sit down and talk a little bit about how US Ark did last night and uh, just what we can expect from USR going forward, and there we go. You're watching Triple B TV. You're a good sport, Phil. You're a very good sport. I know that I'm a lot to handle sometimes, and you never, you're <laughs> you never too much to handle. You're always the appropriate amount of handleableness. <laughs> is that like a is that like a boa? Is that a boa joke? Sure, we'll make it a boa joke. Boa constrictor joke. <laughs> you do a fantastic job, man. I, in all honesty, I, every time I, I think about Phil Goss, I think uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be wholesome, and it's going to be just the right amount of Indiana sarcasm that speaks I'm to my power. I'm worried that you're thinking about me. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. It's, well, it depends on what I'm thinking <laughs> while I'm thinking, depending on if it's good or bad or not. How, how did you ask do last night? The it was incredible. So <clears throat> usually at NARBC Arlington, Texas, we do 20, around $20,000. Last night we did, we broke 48,000. Nice. So through the roof, over double what we usually do, which was great, <laughs> obviously. I'd yeah. say for the attendance that was at the show, like, well, I've been stuck here for the most part, but from what I saw, um, it wasn't as packed as it could have been necessarily. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I don't think attendance was through the roof yesterday. It was certainly, there was a good line in the morning. Um, yeah, I was expecting more more uh, general attendees, but still, I think the vendors all had a good show. Yeah, so. yeah, they did. Yeah. I, I think so. I think it was the right people showing right, up. Right, right. I mean, because despite what the show was like yesterday, that auction was packed. Yep. Yeah. And it, it felt... It was a crowded room. And uh, I told somebody before the show started yesterday, I said, damn it, the weather got nice today. A reptile shows never like it when the weather gets nice, because the uh, best show as I've ever been to, it's rainy, you know, bad weather outside so people got to go inside and do something so yeah the weather here in arlington just got super nice over the weekend so it that did. probably hurt us a little bit but still the, like you said the right people came it was it was a day off because the day yeah. before it was coming down yeah. and flights yeah. were delayed it was yep. yeah but yeah it was it was a good day despite that um i know that you guys are seem to be busy as hell right now I mean, yeah it's so i've been doing this I don't know, it may be nine. I think it's eight years now. I, I hate keeping track, <laughs> but <laughs> that's how long I've been president for US Arc. And the first couple of years were just crazy busy. And then for three or four years, it kind of hit a lull. Um, we had our federal lawsuit, but there really wasn't a ton of stuff um, at the state level going on. We'd had local issues pop up here and there. And then the last three years, you know, I started in 2009 saying it won't get busier than this year. Or, and then last year, oh, I'm sorry, <clears throat> 2019. Then 2020 was like, Wow, this is way busier now. And then 2021 came, and this this is definitely the busiest year. Uh, I feel the like US there's alerts popping up like every couple of weeks or yes, more. Yes, there's been a lot this year, certainly. Yep. Is that something? I mean, I don't want to talk about politics necessarily, but is that? Do you think that's re highly related to the switch in administration? Or? Yeah, I too hate getting into politics, and I always say it straight. I say I'm not saying Democrat. Democrat, Republican. I'm not saying take one side. One's good, one's bad. But what I can tell everybody is that animal rights issues, which that means issues against us, animal rights people don't want anybody having any type of pet. They always talk to Democrats. That's just, that's how it works. Democrats are more favorable to animal rights lobbyists than Republicans are. That's just straight up fact. I'm not getting political about it. Um, that's, that's just how it is. So uh, unfortunately, sometimes a Democratic run Congress can, we'll see more issues pop up than we would under a Republican run Congress. And that's which speaks to the, I mean, the uptick in activity yep. speaks to that. Yep. And that's at the federal level, obviously. Um, state issues, it's, it's still the same way. Um, state representatives and senators seem to, again, it's when the animal rights lobbyists go in, they're talking the Democrats and not the Republicans. So I don't know if that's necessarily has much to do with it. Obviously, on the back of COVID was another big reason for the spike in this, because now all the animal rights groups are actually trying to ban any type of animal as pet outside of dogs and cats. I mean, it, it's happening. We may not see it being actually presented uh, in legislation, but they're still trying. Just because they haven't got a legislator to introduce it doesn't mean they're not trying to make it happen. Well, with what happened in Florida, like that, that was kind of a 
it's, it seemed depressing for some folks because it seemed like they were just set, like they had made their mind up even before they heard from the public. It kind of seemed that way. I don't, I'm not saying that's what happened, but it felt that way. Um, but is that not a, a total loss? Should people like be completely worried? Is there still recourse, or is it? Yeah, so U.S. Arc Florida hasn't announced anything yet. Um, we're certainly exploring options. Um, nothing's been announced. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that was a regulation, not legislation. It uh, passed in Florida, so it totally banned uh, a lot of large <clears throat> constrictor snakes, Nile monitors, and then tegus and green iguanas. And it's, it, it's a big deal, and like I said, we're still working on it. Um, it just uh, passed regulation about a month ago. So yeah, just everybody watch out. If you're in Florida, watch US Arc Florida for any updates. Yeah. Cool. Um, shoot, I, I know there's a lot more. Well, there's, there's plenty more we can talk about. Um, you don't have to be Florida. so serious, man. I know I'm, a, <laughs> Sorry, I don't want, I know. I know I'm a little serious sometimes, but uh, yeah, we, we can lighten the mood a little bit. All right, all right, that sounds good. Um, <laughs> so what, what's happening? So Tinley is moving to Charlotte. What shows you? Obviously, I see you at the NARC, NARC shows. Yep. I see you at the Super Shows. Yep. What other shows that I'm not at is US Arc going? So to? US Arc, where where I'm in attendance, um, we only do about nine or ten of the biggest shows a year. So all the NARBC shows, the Reptile Super Shows. We usually do the Sacramento Reptile Show and Daytona, uh, the National Reptiles Breeders Expo. Those are the, again, nine or ten shows that we do every year. I've heard a lot of good things about the, the, the Herbs shows that are coming yep. up. Do you know yep. anything Sean about Sean Gray's shows, yep. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sean's a huge supporter of us. He had uh, a couple big auctions for us. It's just obviously I can't make it to every show. Sure. Um, there, there's so many good reptile shows now, but I probably need to do a Herbs show soon because Sean has supported us. He, he was even involved back when there was a TX Arc. Um, which still kind of floats around, but we don't have a lot of issues, fortunately, popping up in Texas, so that's good that TX Arc doesn't have to be too active, but yeah, shout out to Sean Gray, so, yep. There's been a huge uptick that I noticed, that I don't know if you noticed on your, well, you did, I, I sent you a text, like, you guys noticed an uptick yep. at all, and like, there's been, there was a huge push, you know, recently, I feel, well, like, everybody was like, please, US Arc, especially with what was happening in Florida. Um, and there was people international, like people were messaging me, like showing me screenshots, people from like Sweden and like all these like international community coming together to support US Arc, which I thought was huge. Like this year's memberships have been through the roof. Honestly, if we, if we take out last year, we probably had almost as many memberships just in the first four months of this year that we've had in about, in about six years <laughs> combined. I mean, wow. that's how big the uptick has been. It's just been huge. Last year, we actually had an uptick because of the same thing. We had people on social media mainly saying, hey, we're not having auctions. US Arc isn't bringing in as much money, obviously, because shows are canceled. Um, so we had a lot more memberships last year, but then this year took it up another 10 levels. I mean, it's just been crazy. And a lot of times people ask, what can I do? You know, I don't have a lot of money. What can I do to support US Arc? Talk about US Arc. If you got any kind of social media following or presence, even if it's tiny, even if you got, if it's your mom and dad following you on social media, I mean, just give US Arc a shout out if you post a picture or something or do a little video. I mean, all that helps us because it's helping spread awareness. Right, right, so, right. And, yep. and you guys are essentially the only group that's out there doing anything to have any op opposition to the legislation that's coming into play. Yeah, basically. we are the only, you know, reptile, herp, um, specific group that's does this type of thing. Yeah, so, yeah. I, think, I think a lot of people, more and more people I think are real realizing, but I think a lot of people don't realize, like, as much money as, like, like you raised last night and like how great that seems for us is like just a drop in the bucket compared yeah. to what we're up against, right? Yeah, it's the money goes away quickly. Um, I mean, if we do any type, I mean, federal level lawsuit, half a million dollars has gone like that. Even state level lawsuits, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars is spent real quick when we get to that. And the thing is, you got to have a little bit of money in the bank to get those because an attorney doesn't want to work with you if you're not going to be able to pay the bills, obviously. So, I mean, we do have good relationships with some attorneys who know that we'll be good for the money. Um, but yeah, certainly you need a, a little bit of, of money in the kitty to, to get that stuff going. So yeah, anybody who's donating, just thank you. Dude, here's what I appreciate about you, man. Like you, you are, you can get down as a serious professional and like show up at these things that, that I feel like I would just clam up and be, uh, if it's too serious, if it gets too serious, I'm like, I don't think I can handle it. Maybe I, maybe I could, but my point is. You do a fantastic job of maintaining that professional image that we need to do things like go into legislative bodies and talk about these things, and yet you can come to the shows and you're not a stick in the mud. <laughs> like, I'm always happy to see you. always got a smile on your face. I know we're going to have some jokes. We're going to have some laughs. And uh, that combo, I think, is it's a you don't find that often, I don't think. You're, you're what I consider to be a special person yeah, for that I, reason. I appreciate so. that. I try, man. It's certainly stressful and uh, 
Sometimes I wonder why I went to the board and approached them for being president for US Arc, but and and honestly, if someone better than me comes along and steps up, I will happily step aside. Um, but you know, somebody had to step up, and I'm just glad that we've been able to keep USR going for the last eight years. So that's hey, that's man. the main thing. So well, I'm looking forward to more and more success of what's, yeah. what you're doing over there, cool. man. We Thanks, gotta man. get as many people as we freaking can on on board and like and seeing what you're doing. And yep. Cool. I appreciate you every time. Hey. Phil. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching, and huge thank you to Phil for taking some time. He's a busy gentleman, and he's a lot cooler than he lets on. He's he's that's a cool dude right there. If you couldn't tell. Um, we're going to have a Zoom call with him tonight, the day this video went out, which is Tuesday, May 25th. And if you want to jump in, you got any questions for Phil, there's a link down in the description. We do a weekly Zoom call with our Patreon community, featuring our guests, or even sometimes <laughs> featuring our, our members themselves. And uh, we'd love to see you guys there. So you guys take care, and we'll see you next week with another guest. Thanks. She's a good sport. <laughs> What'd you do to your poor mother? Oh, uh, Rami didn't like it, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Rami had some words to say about why would I do that to my mother. <laughs> Don't be upsetting Rami, man. He holds, a, he holds a grudge. Yeah, but then but then he met my mom and we, she, you know, she, we, we set his mind at ease. All right. It's all right. all right. I'm gonna get this thing comfortable where you can easily, easily talk into it and We'll just, we'll just warm up. We're just gonna warm up. All right. Are, are you uh, are you comfortable right there? Sure. All right. Can we just put it in front of my face? <laughs> talk like this. Oh, I'm turning the whole table now. Jeez. Right, I'm it. It's not the ideal. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit back this here. It's good. A bit. Yeah, We're yeah. Good? I think that All should right. be fine. All right. Be fine. I don't know where it is necessarily. Did, did you get? Did you? That's Julia. Yeah.